What are the energy producing systems in the body? Oswagen system, anaerobic glycolysis, aerobic glycolysis. When does the body use phosphagen system? At the onset of activity during short term high intensity activities such as throwing a ball, weightlifting. What cells depend solely on glycolysis? Red blood cells. What is the enzyme that catalyzes the first rate limiting step of the glycolysis? Glucokinase in pancreatic islets and liver parenchyma cells and hexokinase in all the other tissues. What is the importance of having that enzyme in pancreatic beta cells? Glucokinase requires high concentration of glucose to become half saturated. Also, it has no feedback regulation from glucose 6-phosphate, so it can act more efficiently than hexokinase. Normal blood glucose rapidly rises after a meal. Glucose enters to the pancreatic cells via GLUT2 channels by facilitated diffusion. As the Vmax of glucokinase is high, it acts as a sensor to enhance the secretion of insulin from pancreatic beta cells by converting large amount of glucose into glucose 6-phosphate in pancreatic beta cells. What are the other two enzymes that catalyze the irreversible steps of glycolysis? Phosphofructokinase 1 and pyruvate kinase. What happens in pyruvate kinase deficiency? Rate of glycolysis is severely decreased in these patients due to pyruvate kinase deficiency as red blood cells completely depend on glycolysis for ATP production. The reduced rate of ATP production results failure to maintain their cell membrane integrity. It destroys red blood cells causing hemolytic anemia. Why sodium fluoride containing tubes are introduced to laboratory practice for blood collection for glucose measurement? Because fluoride is a potent inhibitor of enolase enzyme which causes to inhibit entire glycolytic process so the glucose in the blood sample is not utilized until it is tested. What is the test for identify the presence of any carbohydrate? Molish test. Then what is the Benedict test? It is used to identify reducing sugars. Tell me some substances that can give positive results in this test. Monosaccharides, disaccharides except sucrose, ascorbic acid, homogenesitic acid, uric acid, salicylate. Can you remember the color change occur in this test? Yes. First blue, then green, yellow, orange, finally brick red. Tell me a specific test to identify monosaccharides. Barford's test.